I'm Roxy Andrews and I'm here to make it clear that this is the most fabulous tutorials Hunties oh, What's the tea everybody? Hi! Welcome and welcome back to my channel If you're new here, I'm Ladiva Deluxe Lada for short or Elena Glam that's on Mondays and Wednesdays but today is Friday that means Fridays are a track and we're doing this look hopefully recognizable by Roxy Andrews one of the most matched and beat drag queens so I'm gonna be doing this look and if you guys are interested then keep on watching don't forget to subscribe ring notification bell so you get notified of all new stuff I upload I upload three times a week on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays and also go live almost every Monday don't forget to comment, like and follow me on all the social media all the links are down below as well as my Patreon group so let's get right into this fabulous tutorials hey, before we get into my bare face I just wanted to say that I mentioned something about my background if you guys have questions I took off the pink background because I love it but sometimes it clashes with the colors you know so I've got my ugly wall back there but I took advice from Rakam Sakura she had all those lights from the side so I got myself this thing the thing is it's not very bright but I mean kind of surfaces and I have another like a ring light uh, colored so they're not very bright they're cheap from Amazon <laughs> but they give me a little bit of something something so I haven't edited this video yet so if it sucks I'm sorry but if the colors come out great then yes I achieved something so I'm not gonna be able to see him look in a small viewfinder you can't really tell from there so hopefully Hopefully my background is going to look more colorful and nice. So we're going to find out when I edit. Okay, let's get into this tutorial. I already have my foundation on and a wig cap because I'm in business today. We're leaving to our vacation on Monday and today's Thursday. The video is coming out tomorrow. So I'm in a rush. <laughs> so we do in Roxy Andrews. I'm just organizing here. My iPad is showing her pictures from Instagram but she has no YouTube tutorials I could swear I saw Roxy Andrews YouTube tutorial on RuPaul's Drag Race was it there? did it get deleted? <laughs> I think it's just my imagination I think I imagined I saw something and I'm like I'm just gonna follow Roxy Andrews tutorial well no B I have to investigate and do some Google and Schmuggle and I'm gonna have to find all of her photos all of her uh, very highly edited and all of the videos on Instagram are very very much filtered I mean who doesn't like a good filter but Roxandra she's like a lips for the filter oh, I clocked her okay so I'm gonna go with my favorite kimchi shake the most concealer and we're going to highlight I mean she uses uh, Kryolan sticks they all use those paint sticks and I got to use them with Rakam Sakura but the thing is, it's very thick, like the paint stick. Like, I kind of didn't like it, but for me, because I'm a, obviously I'm an AFAB queen, so I don't need as much coverage. And besides, I'm not like performing just for YouTube. But I can see if you need to real full coverage and you're going to be performing, you'll need a cryolan. But uh, it's very hard to beat it into the skin. I remember I really struggled towards Rockham Soccer. I had to really beat a face. And she was like, beat it, you have to really go harder. It. <laughs> it's a thick foundation. So I just use my Forever foundation and kimchi concealer. I can see why they're using the paint sticks because it's so easy to highlight. It's a big surface, so it kind of go like this. And with a little tiny applicator here, you have to be careful. But she did do this with a paint stick. And obviously the usual. So we're just gonna do have to do the same thing with the kimchi concealer. Now 
So Roxy Andrews is literally snatched. Her face is like a filter. Well, she does like to use the filter, the actual filter, but she does look good, so I'm gonna give it to her. So I'm gonna use my uh, actual better makeup, <laughs> better than Wet n Wild. I haven't been reaching for this for some reason, but it's a palette by Makeup Forever and it has a good contour. And I'm using Makeup Forever palette. I'm using the Dollar Store brush. And for some reason, this brush is excellent. I haven't used it before. It's actually a counter brush that's pretty soft and it's a very good shape. I got a 99 cent only. If you are on the West Coast, we have this dollar store chain, 99 cent only. And it is, everything is 99 cents, but some things might be a little more, but most of them are 99 cents. And they have a lot of makeup items there. In a small, tiny brush for the nose contour. So I'm going to contour with actually a bronzing palette, ASBT, Bronze in Paradise. I love this palette. One, two. I don't think Roxy contours with very cool tones. At least from a photo that I've seen, she's always bronzed and she looks very tan, bronzed and golden. So I'm just gonna use this. I've seen a lot of blush in some pictures. I'm just gonna go in between two medium colors. And it doesn't look like she uses the card, they're very sharp cheeks. She's going for more like a smooth, uh, very, very blended look. So we're gonna smooth and uh, round up the cheeks because I think she's got that look kind of like a lifted look with the very round cheeks so I'm gonna create that look by rounding up my bronzer up instead of down okay blush with my new Colourpop pop off girls blush and this is the color saving the world Obviously, if you've seen my Colourpop review, I thought it was orange. It looked orange on the website. It kind of looked drippy. It drips me. And when I'm looking at it, it looks orange. When I put it in your face, it looks peachy, pinky. This is so drippy, but it works. I've seen a lot of pictures of Roxy with a very, very peachy, kind of pinky blush. Very uh, fresh. So Roxy Andrews' eyebrows are pretty arched like very arched and the tail goes down not up so i'm gonna use powder for the ease of it essence see i made a dent in it so this is very nice color it's not too deep so if i make a mistake it's going to be easy to fix it her eyebrows are pretty thick and the very front of the eyebrow is very 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 ombre like very ombre, like I'm going to sugar pill from Rock'em Sakura, the white taco ombre. So I'm just gonna take another brush, do something fluffy here, and I'm gonna taco it here. That's gonna be a verb, I'm gonna taco everything. Clean it up with a kimchi shake white concealer. So as far as the colors go, I'm just picking something out of the palette. Uh, the palette I haven't reached for in a while, and I don't know why, because I love, I love the Perception palette by Midas Cosmetics, and uh, collab with the, the Basic Bee. <laughs> yes, her Instagram tag is the Basic Bee. So no, I'm not reading her. <laughs> she read herself. So we're going for Fusion and Curious. I noticed that she likes pinkish purplish colors uh, or neutrals. That's what I've seen a lot. Like a brown, so pink and purple. I like pink and purple, so I'm going to go a bit between those two colors. Okay, we struggled and we created this. I did end up uh, filling my whole eyelid with black because with my deep eyes it just doesn't work it's either a small line or all over so i'm gonna be extra because i want sickening i'm still trying to be shangel and shangel is under the couch right now the stupid building the alarms keep going off the alarms went off the cat looked at me crazy it went under the couch poor baby 
I just can't. We need to move the heck out of here because my poor baby is always petrified. So I'm gonna start with the big thick liner. What is it called? Big fat liner. <laughs> I'm just gonna pretty much fill in the whole eyelid. Because I started small on the other eye and then I'm like, oh screw it. I'm just gonna go all over. So the key here when you have hooded, uh, hooded eyes or deep set eyes, relax your brow so you see where it says. You see the depth sets right in the middle. So if I draw a line down here, it's going to be a broken line. So I have to go big, otherwise it's going to be a very crooked line. Midas Cosmetics. Another Midas Cosmetics, my favorite pastels. Very well used. I'm going to clean up this line. I've already been working on it. Because this takes a little bit to clean this up, so I just do it off camera usually. So I'm applying NYX Jumbo Eyeliner and I'm applying it everywhere, not just in the waterline because I need extra stickiness for the low eyeshadow, low eyelid. Looks like she likes to smoke out the low lash line in a light color, like light pink, but very low, like almost like all over down here. Uh, I guess it does create shadow, but she doesn't have any fake eyelashes on the bottom and she only has mascara, looks like it, that's it. So that's what we're gonna do. So I did use um, NYX Epic Wear in white, like on the crease, just to like cut it a little uh, more sharp. And in the inner corner, because I think she does that as well. So now I created this very thick liner and we're ready to go with a low lash line. So let me bake under eyes again. And I don't want to risk the fallout, so let's bake. I'm just gonna put some more air on here. I'm using the same brush that I use for the crease and the same two colors, the pink and the purple. Just gonna blend this. And we're back. And I've got eyelashes on. And this side the eyelashes, the four pairs, the two trio ones and two Amazon eyelashes. And we got the bond with ah, I got a weave bond. I finally caved in and I'm a true dra drag queen right now. <laughs> Thanks to Rock'em Soccer. Uh, actually, she made me not, not be afraid anymore of this. Because I was afraid it's gonna be real bad. But actually, it kind of curls in your hands and rub it off in like little balls. So it's not like a nail glue or something. So it's a, it, the texture is not what I thought it was gonna be. So it makes me wonder how does it hold the weave on? I mean, like, how does it weave stay on if it's so bad? <laughs> For some reason, I'm all covered with it too, because it's black, you know? So that helps. And it goes on immediately, and it dries immediately. So I see, I totally see the advantage of this. So now we're going to do the lips. And she, most of the time, she's got the very overdrawn and very light lips. And sometimes she does red. But I want to go for the classic Roxy, and classic Roxy, I think it's like a very, very pale lip, which like I'm living for that. Oh, so I'm going to fill it in with a uh, the Morphe actually. So this Morphe Love Bite, and she overdraws, but not extremely. I looked at the other pictures on Instagram. Some of the pictures she's got really dark lip liner, like really dark. But some of them are not, so I'm just gonna go somewhere in the middle. We're going to fill this in with Revolution New Delure. It's pale, but that's not it. We're gonna put some conceal over it. Actually, this is very pale. So I almost went without highlighter because there's a lot of pictures of her without any like real highlighter, just white. But there are some receipts from her performances. There are some videos on Instagram, on YouTube of her performance. She turns around and see all the shine. So I'm gonna go for the Roxy, the short girl. Oh, so I used a little bit of the ABH, the Norvina Volume 5 and the light underbrow. 
just to add a little bit something on the brow. And we're using this Sea Star Cosmetics baking powder, but it's a highlighting powder. It's like the finest milk highlighter. It barely gives you any texture. It's a loose highlighter, so you have to be careful with it. It's gonna go everywhere. But look, it's literally like a liquid metal. It highlights so well. It doesn't show any texture. And it blends out very easily too. Okay, it's time for the final touches. Two birthmarks. Well, she's got beauty marks and I said birthmarks. <laughs> beauty marks. Okay, it's time to get snatched in a wig and an outfit. Do we look like Roxandra's panties? I totally painted my boobs and I made a um, TikTok out of it. Oh, it's gonna be a TikTok and I think I'm gonna post it as an Instagram reel uh, because one of my subscribers asked for this <laughs> and it's been like a couple of weeks ago so I almost forgot. I teased that wig in Look at the volume. I mean, I could have gone bigger, but I just want to start small and then tease it bigger because this is a good wig. I do not want to make it a rat's nest. So for now, this is it. So what do you guys think? Let me know. Uh, the last time we saw Roxy Andrews, she was lip syncing as a lip sync assassin on RuPaul's Drag Race uh, All Star season six, just like a few weeks ago, and she was wearing red and she was wearing red lipstick but i feel like most of the instagram posts are like this it's very pale lips let me know what you think like this video give this video a thumbs up and comment below uh comment to help the algorithm and help my channel be more noticed by youtube so subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet uh, don't forget to ring the notification bell so you get notified of all the new videos I upload Upload three times a week, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, and also go live every almost every Monday. So follow me on social media, all the links are down in the description box, as well as my Patreon group. So huge thank you to all my patrons. Thank you guys for sticking with me, and thank you the two new guys that just joined, Tina and Yazid. Welcome to the Carrot Group. <laughs> so thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Love you. Bye.